Okay. It's more like I'm up my pairs. Uh, I was trading in the USD and the uh, CAT USD, also the what you call anti NZD. Hey, this is French USD. Okay, wait. Euro USD. Yeah. Yeah, I like my major three. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, what was the your bias on the Euro USD? In the Euro USD, uh, I saw like it's supposed to reverse. Gone uh, bias, I am going to buy. I went long. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, did you follow your rules for my entries or no ma? When I got to the sala, the velo angen. Eh, la pana. Giwa ngashuko tingwa landeli. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, ngashuko tingeli. Ah, uh, no problem. Okay, no. I think Kenga man. Do you have any question? Maybe often we was that before we start the class. <laughs> Yeah, but so he got to say the challenge like you know, in the exits in exit strategy. Yeah, I'm still struggling. Yeah, okay. on the manager, the nanny scalper. I'm going to go on the little scalper. Oh, okay. Yeah, two, two, yes, yes, but so that's a less peeps. Super the nearest. Target to know as with some little pumen in a Oh, okay. No, yeah, I I can gain them. Then, okay, no, no problem. Let's just mute and then sit dive into it. Yeah? All right, yeah. okay. Uh, welcome to everyone. I understand that join on this session. Well, the aim of this session is just to talk about my entry point, you know, my exit point, and I realize you see, a lot of people are basically struggling with this. Um, the reason is number one is you uh is because you, you don't think the market is gonna come to level in my okay. First, okay, I'm a step to my entries that are, are important, you see. Notice the trend, is it an uptrend? Is the market moving up or is it a downtrend? Is the market dropping, okay? Then identify major trend and minor trend. These two, then obviously you reduce the chart, meaning you simple zoom in or zoom out to see the chart where it's formed. Then step three, you find high and low as the trend, obviously with not the people, I'll show you how to do that. Then obviously you, you pull the fever from high to the low trend if basically the market is dropping. And then if the market then obviously do F or low trend to high trend if the market obviously is, is going down. Then you mark the entry where you want to enter, then be 50 and 60 or five and 16. I'll show you what those they will mean. Then you're marking the zone of supply and demand and support and resistance and then obviously you must check the marking zone if there's any qmo set up and then you must obviously have an entry small stop loss and a big reward which is basically your your let's say profits okay and then another thing signal confirmation for entry this confirmation signal used to ensure traders are still in the landing process is very useful in trading because it controls emotion and also keeps your trading account from rushing an entry, okay? So number one, 
momentum price is getting slower when entering the entry zone, meaning you see that the momentum is now getting slower and slower as the market is moving to your zone. And then you see a price reject, you see a price makes a lot of rejection in the smaller time frame, which means if you're looking at the higher time frame, your H4, your daily, when you go and check in the smaller time frame, you see that the price is making a lot of rejection. And then the candlestick reversal signal pattern form okay in a smaller time frame. Okay. So you see all those things in a smaller time frame. Okay, now let's go over to the chart. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then <clears throat> let's just be just gonna pick random pairs. So I think um Goodman mentioned is looking at this one. So we're gonna study previous chart patterns, okay. So what do you see here? So let's go to the higher time frame. If you take a look at this in the higher time frame, obviously you can see the 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 our euro used to obviously form this. Okay, firstly, obviously as we mentioned, so from this, this is basically one of the this is H4, one of the reversal pattern candle. So what you do is first you must identify what Cold higher and you know, what what has been happening with euro USD has just been changing. So I don't like trading something that is moving like this one that is basically a range not forming any like proper 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 support. Okay, but let me just explain something before we go. Let's just go to the whiteboard. Okay, so. If you just draw lines, okay. So as you can see, I just so if the market is in uptrend, it means it's doing this, okay? It's moving. The market is moving up. So. Was breaking that level. So this is a level. So the market is coming back here. So we call this an uptrend, okay? So coming back, pre-test. So the market keeps doing that. Break, come back, break a level, go up, break a level. So this is what we call an uptrend, okay? So this year is what we call in terms of when you study uh, the market structure, okay? And then what you have this side is what we call a downtrend. So the market is creating uh, these levels and then we're gonna break that level and come back again. This level, then it breaks a level, break a level, nothing is coming. Okay. So, this is basically what we call a downtrend. Okay. So, down. So, this here is a downtrend. Okay. Let's call it drop. Okay. So, which means in a uptrend, you're looking for buy opportunities, right? For buy. And then, obviously, in a downtrend, Looking for so okay, looking to go short. Okay, so that is basically it. So you see this break coming back to a retest on this side. What you want to see, obviously, when you see this happening here, and also this happening here, you want to look for a sell on the other side. Okay, Let's just go to the charts. So we can do that. So the basic thing is when you see a market, let's say, for example, here, this is where, let's say you mark that level. Okay, as you can see, the market breaks this level of structure, which is what your previous thing. And then the market moves, and then you mark that as the highest point in the chart. Okay. And you mark that as your low, 
Okay, but if you zoom out, you can see uh, market actually this was your high, previous high coming back, and then this was your next high. The market breaks, come back here. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight this zoom out a bit. Okay, so now. From that high, let's just, if we're taking this high, okay, I don't wanna be all over it. If you take that as your high, and you take that as your low, okay. so now we're gonna draw a Fibonacci. So let me just draw this line as your high, so that line is your low. So from there, to that level over there, you'll see how it should be there. I'm gonna go like that. I'm just gonna talk because right now, this market is basically not giving us an aggressive move. So I'm just gonna show you the big, small something over here. So we're taking that high and that low. So from there, you can see that between and 50 and 60, that's 50 and 60. The market actually made the drop from there to there. So that drop from there to then. And then when the market actually reverses, reverse up to the 50 and 60 level of the Fibonacci, okay? And then it dropped again. From there, as you can see it from, this is just a smaller time frame analysis, okay? We we'll do higher time frame. It's just this is just a illustrated one. So as you can see we take that as R1, then we take that as R2. Okay. So let's go up to okay. Let's R2. The market came back. But then it come back to it can back to this level of Fibonacci. This is the level of Fibonacci. It came back here, right? So it dropped from that level. If you mark that is about how many? About 100 pips. And then this move from here to there is over like 60 pips. So the market came back here. When you came back here, another opportunity to buy. Okay. So you bought from there. When you buy from that level, obviously your target should be that level, which is over there, okay? That level, which is over that level, okay? So now, market breaks a level, come back to that level over there. After breaking this R1, R2, 50 and 60, and you can see that at this level, there were a lot of people that actually were selling. So they've got their stop losses right there. Okay. Which is so why that's a So stop losses. So you've got people that have got their stop losses right there. So the market came back here, you enter your buy. So your buy entry. So your buy entry is here. Okay. Buy entry. So if you take a look at that buy entry as between this level of Fibonacci, this level of Fibonacci, and that level. So if you mark that, it should give you, it should be about how many pips? So we just calculate that. The SL is going to be below the low. So from that entry to there, it's about 25 pips. From that level to that level, it's about 100 pips. So basically, this means your SL is going to be, your SL is going to be 25 pips. And TP 
is about 100 points. So you're risking one to gain four. So risk reward is very good. So from there, from that level, from there to there, it's about 25 pips. But from that level, from that entry, which is that entry to there, it's over 100 pips. So obviously, if you use this previous, okay, I'm gonna remove everything so that you can see. I hope this makes sense. If you're not clear about what I'm saying, yeah, you can go in the chat box and just ask questions so that you understand, okay? If you are lost somewhere. So from that, from, from drawing the table actually you're pulling from this level to that level, then you get this level 61. So you get 61, you get the 50. So when the market drops, come back, it gives you R1, gives you R2. So that is basically means there's a pull up of liquidity of stop losses over there. When the price comes back to the level of Fibonacci, which is 16 and 5, that is where you will enter a buy again. And then when the price moves up and breaks, that level is going to come back here, which is this level here. Now, this level, remember, there's this R1, there is R2, which means this is a point of high liquidity. There's a lot of traders that are basically, some have been selling here. So now they are stuck here, right? So what do you expect? You expect the market to come back here, obviously above that level, and then go above it, okay? So we're just going to move everything. Just again. So now it's clear, the chart is clear. So we, we did mark that and we mark that level over there so that can be clear. So you use that, that is yeah, that is your low. So let me just go here. That is your low. And this is your lower low, this is your lower low, okay. So what I did was I took the Fibonacci and I draw it to that level. So I got that R1, R2 right here, R1, R2, that level over there. So what do you see? You see that this here is coming back to this level and I'm expecting to move it up there, okay? Because there's some trader that are stuck here that took a, a sell on this level. So now this was a resistance and it's now becoming what? Support. So now this is becoming support. So we just call it this. Um, S1 is coming back here. So if you go on a smaller time frame, you should see some basic candles. So as you can see, let me just remove that Fibonacci again. Okay. And still, there's also, as you can see, there's still a building up of momentum. You can see that the market is still not yet giving us those aggressive moves in here, as you can see, it's still not giving us those aggressive moves. See that not aggressive move, like it, it gave us uh, like this bullish movement over here, but now it's giving us this. And you can see it was okay, this is basically from that high to that low. If you draw it, when actually you pull it from this level to that level over there, Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the fifty and the sixty goes where? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what you can do, obviously, as you can see, Imagine about this year, I can safely say this is one thing that always is a 
the trap. If you see a certain level of supply and you see another level that is critical below, do not, don't ever take this. You can take it, but as long as your account can survive this movement from that level to that level, this drawdown. If you can survive that, then it's good. But once you see a price coming back here, let's just move that to a smaller time frame, just get it up And you can see, and you'll see, if you go on the rise to that low, you can see where the market actually is. If you zoom out, you can see what I'm talking about. Which is, see, <clears throat> This is the setup of this year. This level is clear what is happening. See, so now up below that level, there is this thing happening here. So, this is a where the market actually broke a level, which was uh, resistance number two. R2. So this R2 level is almost similar to that level, which is where the market is doing it. First time coming back to this level. So I can call that F2B. First time back or S1. Call yeah. see that yeah well so now this is your entry okay you put a stop loss so the previous low if you can check okay so do that so now from that level, that level is about 30 pips. Now we want to check our take profits on the higher time frame. So what you do is obviously you wait until you see this fold up. So you see the price is here, and it's giving us pins to rejecting. If you go to smaller time frame, you can see the price is doing this and it's going uh in the, the momentum of dropping is actually dying out, it's giving us this compression expecting the market to go up from there. And if let's just change the template so this thing can be cleared up from, so now we've seen that. So this market is giving us pains, showing us. So now we want to check for our tech profits. So for our tech profits, we are, remember when you talk about entries, where you wanna enter, we talk about exit, number one, this year, you're gonna go on a higher time frame. And you can see if you zoom out, zoom out, you can see okay, this is a nice entry for a buy. The next level that is critical to this pair is actually that level if you are buying. So from there. Then we are looking at that level. Okay, so now from there to there, that is basically the next level that is important if you are trading this pair, this level over here. So if you're taking a buy from here, so your target is 130 pips for a trade because of that over there, because of that movement. And you can see it's like pushing up now. And you can see it's giving us rejection candles. It's very important. Obviously, I, I saw some people saying, obviously this sell was good, but now you can see the reason for that drop, for the price to go further up. Those are some of my expectations. And you can see even that, Check that out. 
So that's basically your exit. The, if you are buying, obviously, for buy, if you are buying, let me just say this, for a buying, okay, can you just go over the slides? So let just go over the slides. Yeah, it's just showing. Okay, this is my slides. So first entry for a buy, you can see the market actually made a drop. So from a low trend to the high trend, the market moved up and it come back to this level of a demand zone. That is basically where you want to enter again for further buy, okay? So when, when the market, when the market moves to the low, I think it's gonna be clear if I do the chart. Yeah. But let me just give just a graphical example. This is a graphical example. So when the market dropped, when the market dropped and come back to this level of 50 and 60, when I put a selling is there for a further sell. Okay. When the market moves up and it comes back to this level 50 and 61. When I enter another buy to that level over there, okay? Just, uh, yeah. So, but before you buy, you must wait for the price before you buy here. Before you buy, you must wait for the market to get to this level. What is important now is have patience enough that the market will actually get to your level that you actually must see that. You've marked this level and the market actually managed to go to our, our level that we've marked. So which is that level then. So the key thing is patience and the market will come to a level, okay? Yeah, okay. That's about it. That's about it and that. US DT, I think we also We've also shared analysis when you're steady. So same story as like you're looking for a setup, okay? A setup is a pattern that you're looking for. It's a, obviously it's different per strategy, okay? So this is a high that's what's expected. Why is this high is important is because of this thing that happened over here, because of that. So that high is important, we just go to H4. Things in a sense important is because there was a break of the structure. And the reason also, I mark this as a level where the market will basically retest is because of this. Before the market actually went up here, yeah, before this move, the market made a drop here. That drop, one, two, three candles. A lot of traders started selling after this. They saw three drop and they started selling. So when they start selling below that movement, meaning they started selling going down here. Okay, they started selling over here. So the market is more likely when it gets to this level and do a retest. So you also you need to mark that it's important. So obviously people will buy. And obviously this was another entry for a, a retest for a buy after breaking the structure over here. But then the market came back. When it came back to the same level, it's a signal for an entry for a buy. Then obviously, not obviously, I'm just saying that my take, if you're if you're buying here, obviously your first take profit is going to be at this level, which I've marked. And the second profit is it's gonna be at that level, which I also in my, my previous analysis. Okay, and that level also is important because it's another level of breaking of this level of structure. Okay, and within this, there's a build up of orders. Okay, if you zoom in, if you zoom in using a smaller time frame and you draw a trend line from there to there, you could see, okay, the next level of where you wanna buy is that level over there. Okay, that level over there. 
think we shall demand. But the but the way I actually thought was a good entry was this level, this level here. So I expected this to drop and actually go there. First take profit, second take profit. And it's actually moving in our direction. But before, obviously, if you want to scalp, as we've mentioned before, I think we've done analysis before, and you can see, so firstly, your entry is here for our, for your first buy here. So coming back, your first entry is here for a buy because it's broken structure, the market came back. This movement is critical. So that's where you enter for our first buy. The take profits obviously need to be there that level of where I'm a candles lap hella corner. So this is where your candles, the body of the candle, not the pin, the body of the candles, that's where it stops. And obviously, if you took that, the price actually move. See that movement and it went up there, and then obviously, because of that flag that is happening, then the price. That's a really drop again, going up there to that level again. So, your entry after this movement, which is looming, so you can see here, you can Key thing is wait for confirmation candle. So, this kind is a confirmation in our time frame. This kind is a confirmation for a buy. Okay. That means it's time to buy, especially if the pattern. Is, is in agreement, is in line. Okay, firstly, so this here is your pattern. So the market drops to this level, come back as you can see. This movement, remember before you buy, wait for the market to drop to the lowest price. So this is where you have your entry, okay? So your entry, entry is where you have your entry for a buy after a drop, a drop to the next level. Which level is that? So this is the level where you want to. It's also that. If you can see, this is the structure. So the market came back, well, went above, then come back to this level. And if you can take that level, the breaking structure coming back, so this is basically your buy. What you can do, uh, the question is, what should I do uh, after 9 p.m. because the market moves slow? What you can do is you don't necessarily have to close all your trade. You can, okay, let me just finish that. So your entry, obviously we've managed to talk about your entries here. You wait for the market to come back to this level. Once that level is touched, obviously the first thing obviously you can do is use what we call a buy limit. If you're not sure, and then you put your SL level there. So what you do is you go here, select in order, okay. You basically do that. This is your entry. This is your entry level for a buy limit. And obviously this is your stop loss. This is your stop loss. Just uh, not using a uh, trading account. Okay. Okay. So as SL is going to be here, and entry is going to be here, and your TP obviously is, is on that level over there, this level. So, which is that accomplished, mission accomplished. And then, obviously, when the price breaks, the level is going to come back. And it did come back and retest it. Always remember these candles. These candles, when you reach a level of support or a level of demand, any level is important to mark. 
and you just look left. So looking left, this means you're looking what actually going on in this side here, okay? What is going on this side? And then obviously that's where you enter. Even this candle, see this candle, this kind of it means the market is actually that some people will enter after this after this candle. But the thing is, as you can see, obviously there was this bullish movement of that candle for an hour, then the price came back to retest again. What level is it being retested? This level over here. Okay, you can see the price went up, come back. So what you always must do is when the price move aggressive up, always check take the low and the high and just delete all this so when the price move up always and and it come back always mark this draw that to the low and it would give you If you can see, traffic. Okay. I think that's a bit clear on New Year's data. What is going on? As you can see, your state. See, towards the, this level, compression slowing down towards this level, the price drop. Okay, come back again, same thing again here. Yeah. But then when you draw this line, when the price move up there. If you draw this, you can see the fifty and the sixth of the Fibonacci. It's here. Okay, the price came back to it, and it's now it's been going up from it. And what you expect is that the price firstly will reach that as your first CP, then go further up, okay? Uh, okay, I think we haven't dealt with much, eh? We haven't dealt with much in time, it's just gone. Okay, most of the time when you trade, these are basically, these are your, these candlesticks are your confirmation for to enter. So, but always look for them in a smaller time frame because if you look at this kind of smaller time frame, it's a lot of candles as you can see, and candle, a lot of candles. But obviously, if you are looking at this at a smaller time frame, higher time frame, use them to confirm your exit most of the time. Okay, and then use smaller time frame to confirm your entry. So when you see a market doing a lot of rejection, that is basically where you are likely gonna enter for example here a lot see this price is right there in terms of gold and that's basically the best entry and also obviously this here it might just make you enter early but when the price drop to this level that's basically a perfect entry but just on the highlights I'm just going to highlight a few points using this. Okay, so if the momentum is getting slower when entering a zone, price makes a lot of rejection. You see doji candles, you see all those candles, the candle reversal pattern, okay? In a smaller time frame, that's basically the right time to enter. And the same story if you are closing. If one time is dying out, you can close. You see that price making a rejection level of support.